Hello, my YouTube family and friends. I am coming to you today because I'm super happy. I'm always happy when I have a haul to share. <laughs> but um, this haul is something that I have waited for for the longest time. Um, one of my favorite sto discount stores is called Dirt Cheap. And um, literally everything in there is pretty much dirt cheap. You know, from time to time they'll have some things that are pricey. But in any case, um, I have had my eye on this 7th generation soap for months now, since April. They got them in in April. They had a whole aisle, an entire aisle, from uh, top to bottom, three shelves filled with the, um, the Bath and Body. This is the, um, the Nourishing Body Wash. This one is Lavender, and this one is Mandarin Orange. And also the bar soap, which I intend to use in my um, homemade detergent. But, um, so I've had my eye on it. So I'm really happy today that when I went back, uh, it was 80% off. And it started at 40% back in April. And I just refused to buy it at 40%. At 40%, I mean, it's $8. I don't know if you can see that. But it's $8 a bottle, normal price, regular price. And um, even at 40% off, I was like, ah, eh, no, no. I'm pretty sure I can get it cheaper than that here, you know, at Dirt Cheap. It should be cheaper. So anyway, uh, we're in Dirt Cheap probably twice a week because, no, three, four times a week. Because it's right around the corner from my son's um, Taekwondo class. So we're actually in there all the time. So every time we stop by, I would always check and send one of the kids, hey, run down the aisle and see if, um, see if my soap went on sale yet. So anyway, I watched it go up from 40% to 50, 60, 70, and it stayed at 70% for probably about a month. And I still refuse to buy it. But anyway, today I, I walked in there today and it was 80% and yay! I'm pretty sure you guys can understand and um, <laughs> you know that feeling. So it was 80%, which isn't bad because at 80% um, off, $7.99 was $1.60. So I paid $1.60 for this body wash. I mean, this is awesome. Okay. So I only picked up two, four, six, eight. I picked up eight. Eight bottles because there's still three, there's still one whole aisle, three shelves filled with it. And I know that it's going to go down even cheaper. No one was buying it for months and months and months. It sat there untouched. No one would begin to buy it. And so I know that it can go down even cheaper. But I went ahead, you know, at $1.60 a, a um, bottle, that's still not a bad price. So I went ahead and purchased a few anyway the bar soap the same scents lavender and orange uh is 3.99 regular price i got the bar soap for 80 cents so even though i refused to buy it before at a dollar um 80 cents is not so bad and i know that it can go down even further so i'm really excited about you know um coming home with this mini haul from dirt cheap and um uh, you guys may not know this, but uh, because I haven't shared it just yet, but I've decided to start a new endeavor. And what I'm thinking of doing, I need some, you know, um, some kind of play money <laughs> type thing. So what I've decided to do is start a side business, aside from my home daycare, just so we can take trips and, you know, have extra money for um, vacations and all that other type stuff. You know, it's very difficult to do those things on my budget, being a single parent and single income. So it is very tough. So anyway, um, I haven't shared this with my Facebook friends and family just yet, and I'm holding off just a little bit. But anyway, I ordered a sewing machine from Amazon, and um, it'll be here next week. So I'm super excited about that. I do not know how to sew. No, let me rephrase that. I don't know how to sew on a machine. I remember taking home ec back in high school, and I remember doing it once or twice, but am I proficient at it? Absolutely not, okay? The only term I remember is foot pedal and bobbin, okay? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, oh, there's something about a foot feed or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I ordered a machine, and um, I'm super excited to start my uh, business of making cloth diapers. 
And I chose cloth diapers as my new endeavor because when uh, I sold my son's cloth diapers on Craigslist a few years ago, uh, when he first started going to school, he went to uh, Pritchard Preparatory. You know, he went to um, a prep school. And um, I needed some extra money for uniforms and all this other stuff. And he was four years old at this time. And so I'm holding on to, this was before I homeschooled, of course. So I'm holding on to all his diapers. And I had goo gobs of these diapers. I have one left. I used several different kinds. My favorite was the G diapers. So I kept this one just kind of, you know, as a keepsake. And, um... You know, my little baby is not this small anymore. But anyway, I sold his lot of diapers for $350. And when I was thinking about what should I do as a new business, and it took 24 hours. Literally, I posted on Craigslist, and within 24 hours, I had a few hits, a few calls. Um, of course, I took the first one who called and had the money to, you know, um, had the cash right on hand. And... um but even before I took down the post, I kept getting call after call after call for, you know, my call, my cloth diaper lot. And so, you know, just this was years ago. My son is seven now, so he was four at the time. So this was three years ago. And um, anyway, so as I was thinking about what should I do to make a little extra money that's going to have a quick return, where one, I'm not going to spend an, an, a whole lot of money um, starting up on startup costs, and two, I'm going to have a quick return. Three, if I decide to stop doing it, you know, no love lost anywhere. You know what I mean? So I decided to do the, um, that, you know, um, brought to mind when I sold his diapers, how quickly they sold, how quickly everyone loved them. What I did to refresh his diapers, because they were um, gently used, very loved and gently used, um, much like this one. And I had tons of them. He had them in just about every color. Every time there, there was a new G diaper color or boy pattern, I bought it. And I paid, um, the starting price was about $17.99 per diaper for the plain ones. And for prints, they were $21 for print. So he had several in each size in every color that there was for boys. So um, what I did... Um, like I said, to um, sort of re regenerate the diaper and bring more life back to the diaper so that they would sell, was I bought some appliques from uh, Walmart. And just cute little appliques, and I applied them, ironed them on, and I well, actually I applied some um, patch attached first to reinforce it, and then I ironed it on. And so, um, and then I uh, sewed the ends of it so that it would be secure. But anyway, um, that took me probably per diaper, took about 10 minutes per diaper to really do. It really wasn't hard to do at all. And they sold uh, very quickly, as I stated before. So um, now I'm starting from scratch, basically. I have never made a cloth diaper. I've always bought my son's cloth diaper. So um, and this is a hybrid. If you don't know anything about G diapers, let me see if I can open this for you. If you haven't seen this, this is this is what they call a hybrid diaper. And um, it used to have these little this little um, plastic insert here that snapped on the inside, and you can either use a uh, cloth insert or you can use a disposable insert, which is what I loved about these diapers was uh, because they were a cloth on the outside, but I the I did have the option of um, using a disposable insert so that when we were out, I could literally just dispose of the insert. Um, they, it didn't use, uh, what I liked about it was that it was also earth friendly and it didn't use a lot of the um, gels and things that most diapers use. So, and it didn't have bleach in it. So it was very environmental fr environmentally friendly and it was, you know, baby bottom friendly, essentially. So anyway... Um, let me finish share, sharing with you my um, haul for my business. And um, I'll withhold letting you know the name of the diapers that I'm going to, um, the name of the business that I'm going to call my, my diaper business anyway. But I got this today at Dirt Cheap. This is microfiber fleece. And this is a blanket. And this was $14.49 with 40% off. So I paid $8 and change for this blanket. This is a twin size blanket. 
okay, at um, Hobby Lobby and uh, Joann's, the microfiber fleece is about $12 for a yard, okay, so I, I mean, this is going to make a ton of inserts for um, my new diapers, okay, and so because I'm able to uh, spend less, I mean, this is, I mean, I'm just, Ah, yay, I'm over the moon with about this. So I picked up two. I picked up the only two that they had there. I went back and forth down the aisles looking for, um, and they actually had blue and other colors, but I want it white for the, in, um, the inside of the diaper. I want it white. So I got those, and um, like I said, $8 and change a piece. I think it was something like eight sixty four, or something like that, a piece. So I got those yesterday at um, Toys R Us. They had a sale on, um, this is Carter's receiving blankets. Okay, th these are Carter's receiving blankets. These were $4.99 for four, okay, at um, Toys R Us. So I picked up two, and there were more, and, and now that I think about it, I really should have picked up more, but I didn't want to overdo it. So, especially because I'm just starting out, and I know the first few diapers I am going to make some mistakes on. Um, but as I was looking at this, look at how large this is. This is huge. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this is very long, and it's already doubled over. So, this is going to be the cotton outside of uh, the diaper with the... Um, microfiber fleece on the inside this the diapers that I'm going to start making first you will have to use um, well my clients will have to use a pull over them uh, so and I am going to make those as well eventually I'll get into making the um, the, the diapers with the pull covers but for now I didn't buy any pull mainly because it is expensive and if I, you know, make a mistake, I don't want that to be a costly mistake. I want the materials that I use right now. They are very good materials. These are, this is 100% cotton. It's Carter's. These are all brand new. So, um, if I make a mistake, you know, that's very unforgiving. It's not a costly mistake. Um, so, that's the reason I didn't buy the, uh, the waterproof um, outer lining. So once I get uh, my feet wet in making the diapers, I am going to add those to my diapers. But for now, I chose a print so I don't have to worry about um, adding any appliques or anything like that. This is strictly practice for um, using the diaper pattern and sewing and, and so forth. So I've got these. And uh, today from Walmart. Oh, and I also bought the bibs. Oh, let me show you the book that I bought from Joann's yesterday. I got this book from Joann's, Cloth Diapers Made Easy, and basically it came with, where are the, uh, yeah, it came with two cloth diaper patterns for small, medium, and large diapers with the soakers on the inside, so there are two different types of diaper patterns here, and at Joann's, they have a, um, a line of cloth diaper making materials that they call Babyville Boutique. Okay, they are costly. And because they cost so much, my diapers would have to be would have to um be priced very high. So they would be very pricey and I don't want to do that. I basically want to be able to sell diapers at an inexpensive um purchase the materials inexpensively and be able to offer a reasonable price diaper. Um, a quality, reasonably priced diaper to my clients, okay, and still make a profit. Let's, I mean, let's not forget why I'm doing this. I am doing this to make a profit. So, um, but I don't want to have to gouge the prices to make the profit is my point. So, um, this is my idea. I'm going to um, do this. And we, we are also going to do bibs. I'm going to try my hand at some bibs. So, this is patterns for bibs. And today I picked up my sewing machine won't be here till next week sometime the beginning of next week so um, I picked up this little hemming kit from um, Walmart and it was only three dollars and fifty cents three dollars and thirty cents it was on clearance and the the purpose of this wasn't because I needed to hem something but I needed this um, hem hem gauge 
that's in here and I also needed the uh, stitch remover I you know I finally realized what that was I used to call it the stitch pulley outy thingy <laughs> no but um, it came with a lot of different accessories that I can use uh, so I thought that was good to have at 330 $2.30. The other thing that I bought was the Plastic Snap Fastener Pliers Kit. These are what I'm going to use on the diapers, the, the snaps. I am going to do Velcro. I could not find the kind of Velcro uh, tabs that I needed for the diapers at Walmart. And um, so I just went ahead and bought this. So I'm going to try to use those. And I've got the braided elastic to go in the, the legs of the diaper. So I bought a few of these. Oh, that's not it. But I bought, how many did I buy? I thought I bought more than that. Okay, I think I bought three or four of these somewhere. There's another one here somewhere. But, okay, I, oh yeah, there's four. Okay, so I've got enough elastic to um, go around the edge of the diaper and the, um, the legs of the diaper. I am going to try to make pocket diapers. Okay, so I've got some um, thread with the colors that, you know, for the receiving blankets that I have here. I've got the Mark Be Gone marking pen, and I just kind of threw these in. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to use these for the diapers, but they were 50 cents, so, and they're buttons. They're so cute, and I just thought, well, you know, 50 cents, pick them up. Might do some arts and crafts with them or whatever. Pick those up. And I've um, bought some all-purpose needles for hand sewing, so... That, um, it's pretty much it. That concludes my haul for today and for yesterday. And I am super excited about uh, my new endeavor. So please, if you have made cloth diapers before and you have some wise advice for me, some quick tips, some, you know, suggestions on um, how to, the best way to go about this, if I can avoid some pitfalls that you encountered um, during your um, cloth diaper business, please let me know. And um, I'd appreciate it. Comment. Um, and I will try to get back to my comments to, to answer all the comments and so forth. But thank you so much for watching. Wish me luck. Bye-bye.